how are you guys doing? And welcome back to the Somnium Files with me, your girl, No Fuses. Last time we, we dove straight into a murder. She's missing her eye. We're unlocking our memories. And right when we ended the last video, we about to talk to the boss. So without further ado, let's get into it. And if you guys like this game and want to see more videos of it, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. There is so much going on in her office. I don't even know where to start. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshka's eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Bags hanging on a rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Flag with big catch on it. A boy band poster? Uh, yup. They're all my husbands. <laughs> Every single one of them. Uh -huh. Boss is single, by the way. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. A plaster figure. Okay, nothing to say there. A police officer mannequin. Have you mannequin. met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about Boss's mental health. Alright, let's just start talking to her then. Um, I see you still haven't cleaned this place up. What's the size of investigation? Let's start that. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. Oh, what is your name? I honestly don't know. Wow, you've been calling her boss this whole time? I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from memory disorder. Oh, so it wasn't just fuzzy memories that we were doing with last time. It was literally like he has like like a, uh, like mental amnesia, like often, I guess. I don't remember anything past six. Oh, so it was a traumatic event. Okay, I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. Maybe those two people in the last video were his parents. Maybe. Maybe? Or maybe relatives? Because he, he says he never remembers being in that house. So it could have been like years ago. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so nothing to report then. Got it. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki. Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. Oh, we're underground? Six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? That's probably why they're called Abyss. No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The 
doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. Wait, that's... He's a guardian? No. She just lives with me. Oh, so he's probably wondering, he's like, how the hell did you make it all the way here? Mizuki Akura. I hope I said your last name right. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. I swear to God, if there's going to be some jackass in a courthouse tell telling us that a 12-year-old killed this woman. Like, somebody yeet that person out the window, out of the universe in which they stay. Because I feel like we're really about to come across that person any moment right now. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Um, and why aren't you taking care of your child? Why is a random stranger taking care of your only daughter? I'm assume only daughter. Not to mention old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him, had him verify Shoko's corpse, and naturally started asking him questions. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. I'm choosing the that top one last. Was holding, the only prints on it are hers. Uh, here we go. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. See, so that's a case where she's gotta, like, shut her mouth about. That's how you know it's really important. Like, she just kinda, like, don't say anything about it, don't mention it, pretend I, I didn't say a word. Like, she, this is probably a case where she's, like, gotta be tight-lipped about. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko. 36 years old. Female. Residence. Maguro District. Met. Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. 
Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. Do any of them know that he has an AI eye inside of him? Like, does anybody notice that at all? Because no one's mentioned that at all as they talk to him. Like, oh yeah, use your AI. Oh yeah, do this and do that. Like, it's only the AI talking to him. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoku's picture and put it in my pocket. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. That's almost every computer in the world, right? The entrance. Okay. Shelves. Do we, do we need to touch her more? Probably. Still green. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Oh my god, his eyes are going crazy. Okay, so you can just do that, just pop out of, out of your skull whenever you feel like it. Hello? No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. So... When... When she's not talking in his head, the voice switches. It gets left computerized in more of a normal voice. Well, still. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute, no. cute at all. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're a robot, you don't need it. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called in the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. I've been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to the brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute.
Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me get. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? He's like, damn it. I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me. Am I... Really... It reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. What's the point? Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Boss is looking at Iva. Tim basically like, move on. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Uh-oh. Oh my god, who was it? <laughs> He's like, just tell me already! Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. He looks like a child. Like, I don't know if it's the outfit, or maybe he looks a little short, but he looks like a child. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. When you, when you are able to visit a new destination, map will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Open the map and pick a destination. You can only share the tutorial by calling to menu. Yes, I know this. Oh, so he lives in a restaurant. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flash my oh, badge. Oh, heavens, no. I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She heard out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? <laughs> put the knife down. Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Exactly. Put the knife down, like, yeah, is my son in trouble? Oh no, let me just come over here with my super sharp knife. You know, just in case I have to tackle your ass. Sorry, sorry. I put down the knife on the kitchen beside her. Table beside her. 
kid's seat, a kid's chair. Is there anything like... I can see the kitchen area post on the counter. I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? What? What are you suspicious about? That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. I decided to ask her about Shoko just in case. I brought out the picture of Shoko and showed Sue. Does this Mayumi. woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Oh, about 30 years now. Woo! 30 years! We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. Oh, <sighs> because there's a goddess there. Ah, there's a super hot lady that works at the office and everybody wants to see her. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? Yeah. The uh, one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Is it lingerie? Uh... New set of heels, um, a gaming console, a box full of jewelry, stacks of cash. Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. <laughs> I just call her the witch. That's what oh, she used to me. She doesn't deserve her name. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Ah, the words of a true mom. Why, why would you need a cell phone when we have the landline? I don't understand why I need to spend extra money for shit that you already got. Yep. Doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Oh, so he's hiding it from his mom. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. 
Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. My god. His face is like, you don't get it, do you, lady? Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Let's look at it. You use x-ray? It's a cardboard box. There's delivery sleep attached to it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Okay. Ah, figurine thought so. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Oh, Allow what's me wrong? to investigate. A moment, please. What, what, why was he having a mini heart attack just now? Oh, so we just stopped completely? So there's something that I'm missing here. So it's not this. So it's gotta be something in Zoom, maybe. Oh, I can't toss her anymore? A large jellyfish. Sure. It's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. And it says kitchen knife with a floral pattern and there's something written on the handle mom i love you always ah ota gave me that knife for mother's day when he was in elementary school wow he knows how much i love flowery designs i've used it every single day since he gave it to me oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife it means the world to me Aw, sweet kid. Date, or I guy. some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. Sorry, what? <laughs> I repeat, Lemnusgate. Why is he shocked about she it? she owns that company. Uh-oh. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnusgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Oda goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Alright, time to go. I feel like this whole game is just going to surround this one case. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. That's him. Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. The, MPD. <laughs> the police? <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Don't make me put my foot up your ass. Especially as it's flashing my badge. Like, you can at least, like, close your laptop and give me at least some form of attention. No. And this is when you take out your pistol and start whipping him across the face! I'm kind of busy right now. He's trying to make it seem like, like he has nothing to do with whatever he's about to talk about, but... You know, when once we start, you know, jogging his memory a little bit, he, he's gonna be like, uh, I don't know anything. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2.3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Yeah, he's pretty smart. This type of kid I hate the most. Yeah, the smart ones that know the system. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Punch you! <laughs> Ozo won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away at the laptop. Can I punch you? Date, wait. <laughs> Mitch! <laughs> Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Fine. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. <laughs> He's sick. He just keeps going. Kick him. Can oh, I reach laptop. Over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. He's a damn it, I'm broke. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Oh my god. Anything else interesting? Lots of magazines on that rack. Let's see, how to take a girl home in just two months. Wow, okay. I think I'll take a look at that. My god. Promotional videos of the agent's talent are playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't that kind of company. Promotional video. Uh, okay. Anything else? I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What dosage? What medicine are you injecting? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Does Tessa refer to Aseth? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What the world? What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. What? He's insulting and defending at the same time? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Yeah, he's got nothing else better to do. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two Witter. 
Uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. He's like, fuck! I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. <laughs> He's like, Ugh. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemnisgate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments are not feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. Yeah, like, you're faking it. Like, you're throwing insight and you're like, Oh yeah, I'll protect you even though I'm the one literally stabbing you in the back. Like, come on now. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... Don't do it again, okay? <sighs> I went to Bloom Park... Because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. He's like, yeah, she better be. I'm over thinking like, yeah, we were about to go on a date and that's where we meet up time. He goes, swear to God, if I'm about to find out she has a boyfriend, I'm going to lose my shit. That's literally his face right what? now. Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> There's a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not a published author. Ah. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. He's like, huh. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Team provided detailed account of last night. Around 8.10 last night. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? Why don't you just tell me the whole conversation instead of making me click? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Flashback. 
Okay, so the dead lady ain't there yet. Oh, she is there. Oh, because she stood there shot because that's her mom. So she just like, oh my god, and he ran up for his fucking life. Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like... Her roommate would kill her. Good girl. He's a good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first. But my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba. Can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. He said, you left a 12-year-old at a crime scene. He goes, I'm sorry. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Oh, is this Tessa? Tessa! <laughs> She's like, whoa. What's with the pause? And you are? Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? I've never met a real detective before. He's like, what do I make of this girl? Uh, what's, Date, what's with the heart attack? Your adrenaline level is rising. Well, what, what is it? He's looking at his girl and he's having her heart attack. Is she... Do you consider her that beautiful? You're you're literally about to die on the floor. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Maybe he like like his subconscious like remembers her at some point in his life, and he just like and he's over here just like why is my body reacting like this? See, he, he's like I've never met this girl in my life. Let me confirm something. You're a said right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows! Um, thread? Silhouette? Aset! Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? Aset! I need you to stop co-signing. You are so sad to me right now. Water! Wet, sweat, Aset! <laughs> Yay! Aset, you bet! His face is like, what? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. <laughs> At once. She's like, even I can't take this crap. Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. She is she's using her charms on Max. Like she's put the dial up way too high. Oh my. <laughs> Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Mm hmm. Really? Ota, hmm. Stop. You're making me blush. This guy. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! 
Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. <gasps> Will you stop? We d he didn't even say anything! Jeez! Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> He's like, what? And look how happy he is about that. Like, oh, really? Somebody in this world loves me? <gasps> hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. <laughs> He's like, you wouldn't dare. Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> He's like, please don't tell her. Hmm? Something wrong? What am I supposed to do here? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Exactly. Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? This is a very, very, very sad boy. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? How? It's all over the internet. Wait, what? You... Wait, so the internet already knew about the body before Ota told her about the body? So is the killer, like, posting his work? When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. I took Oshoka's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. Uh-oh. So nobody knows who her mom is. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Probably. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Ah, uh, so they're still keeping all that relationship stuff hush-hush. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. This would be me backing away slowly off the couch if someone kept repeating it over and over and over like that. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with- You'll what? What? Please take me with you. Why would you want to go there? Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. He's like, what are you up to? Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? 
She's poking for info. That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? Really, bitch? I can't imagine life without you! <laughs> what are you doing? Did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. That's an evil smirk. What are you up to? I am so suspicious of you right now. Her mask came off for like a split second too. But, uh... With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to end the episode right here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know I have. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, then please don't, don't, enter, don't hesitate to destroy that like subscribe button. I'm sorry, I got tongue-tied there for a second. And I am so suspicious of Miss Tessa over here. That smirks at all. You're up to something. You probably know who the killer is or I have some clue. But I guess we'll find out in the next video. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!